Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to go over setting up the Fallout 3 multi core threading fix with the 4 gigabyte update. The short form for it is MCTF, which is just multi core threading fix. Now, this can be used with both the newest version of Fallout 3 on Steam, the anniversary version, and it will also work with the TLG version. What you want to do is just go to the mod here, which I will actually link under the video. And you're just going to download either the default field of view or the enhanced field of view, depending on which you prefer. Now with the enhanced field of view, it just has some minor adjustments to the various field of view settings, a bit smaller pip boy and a bit wider viewing area although if you're new to the game I would just recommend going with the default fields of view so that you kind of get the game how it should be played in the original format since you're or if you just prefer the original format but otherwise just download whichever one there is a WinZip or WinRAR version they're exactly the same other than what was used to compress them and that's for both the enhanced and the default so just manually download the files that you'll need and then you're just going to go and open that up I have the default field of view now once the file is open then you can just close the browser here and if you're using a Steam version, you can access the game by going to your game list, right-clicking on it and selecting Properties, then going to Local Files and Browse. And that will bring up your game folder. Now as far as GOG, you just want to open up your GOG. Now, of course, this is Fallout Vegas, but um, if you have Fallout 3 here, you just want to right click on it, say manage installation and show folder and that will take you to your Fallout game. Now of course you don't want to do this on Fallout New Vegas this is just because I have it installed on Steam and I have New Vegas installed on GOG. But anyways once you've opened up your Fallout 3 folder you're just going to take the 4 gigabyte patch and drag that over. Now I would suggest that you just make a new folder and call it originals and should you want to revert your files back to the original files you can do so by just dragging them from there and we're just gonna select the Fallout 3 and the Fallout default here and we're gonna copy those and place the copies here now at this point just run the 4 gigabyte patch set that on exe files and select the follow 3 exe say ok now if you're on GOG you don't need to put the patch on the follow 3 exe because it is already set for 4 gigabyte whereas the steam one even with the anniversary update for some reason they didn't do that but anyways so after you've done the patch you want to drag and drop the follow default into the folder here and just replace the original and we have the backup should we need it now at this point you want to open a second browser window and just go to your documents folder your my games and your fallout 3 here and what you want to do is just delete any files here do not delete your save folder delete those and just drag and drop this one over into the folder there you can close your downloads now you can leave these windows open just in case but at this point all you have to do is run your game if it's GOG just start it from GOG here I'll start mine from Steam and we're gonna have to reset our settings Turn off your 
vertical sync, say OK, and just go into game. And what this will do now is it's just generated all new INIs for me in the My Docs folder. Quit game, and if you notice, now all my INIs have been generated in the documents folder. So your game's all set at this point, and just enjoy your gameplay. Now, otherwise, if you want to do foes, I'll just talk about that. And with GOG, you can add your foes normally it will work with the GOG version however for some reason it doesn't work with the new Steam Anniversary Edition as they changed the version of the file and they haven't updated the foes yet so if you do want to use foes but you're on the Steam Anniversary Edition then go down here under the optional step and you'll see a link here for the Steam Anniversary Patcher and that's so that it will actually patch your game so that you can run foes and if you just click that link that will take you right through to the other mod otherwise just add your script extender if you're on GLG or on an older version of Fallout 3 that still works with it and add it here as directed and you can still change the name over. Now I do have some other videos here for the previous setups and you can go over those too. They may have some information that you could use off them. You will need to unlock your FBS again if you did that previously and then just updated recently. And you can watch this video here on how to do that and that's just a single line change. And basically, everything here is the same as it was previously, just with a few updates to kind of um, kind of make the game run a little bit smoother. And I just wanted to address some memory issues that the game could run into so that you shouldn't actually have any out-of-memory issues or anything like that. I've never come across an out-of-memory issue, but I do know that that was a problem in the past maybe not for this but when using certain types of mods um, MM, um, like a texture pack an extremely large texture pack could cause that and stuff so hopefully these changes will actually help prevent those type of things in the future so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video um, this is a bit shorter than my previous setup videos but it was just kind of to go over everything quickly and if you're updating from a previous version of my um, my mod here to the newest one make sure to delete those files in the um, my docs folder um, sorry my games folder the Fallout 3 folder as you'll want to generate all new files okay well, thanks a lot for watching. If there are any questions, let me know in the comments below. Or you can actually let me know on the mod or just message me directly um, through Nexus if you'd like. Or even on Steam, I can be found under Corinth. Same as um, my usernames here on the mods and, su and such. So again, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.